You walk into class the first day of school. That was your first mistake. Oh wait, no, your first mistake was signing up for this in the first place. Oh well, you'll try it. Hope you did your summer work. Didn't? Too bad, you have a test on it. And a test tomorrow. And a test next week. The board likes tests. Don't like it? You can go here. But for now, you're stuck. A few weeks pass. Now what's that huge 50-page packet coming your way? A textbook? Notes? No, it's... A lab! Yay, labs! I get to blow stuff up, right? No, wrong. You put some celery and potatoes in water. And they get bigger. That's... Osmosis! Remember that. The board wants you to know it. Looks like you don't know it, though, because you got... A 60! Still passing, though. As long as she doesn't curve it... Down! Make sure to keep your labs, too, for your... Lab notebook! We'll check on that later. What do you do on days without tests or labs? Lectures. Beautiful, long lectures. Pay attention to those PowerPoints. The board wants you to know that. Also the Bosman videos. Take notes, or just buy a Baron's book. That's your only Christmas gift this year. Speaking of Christmas, you have work over break. Notes? Packets? No, it's... The Evolution Project. But it's not due to February. Mark that date. Keep the weekend before free. You'll need it. Trust me. Think you'll have class time? Think again. Think you'll start it before February? Think again. Because you have a... Mini poster. Do. What? On top of this huge project? Yep. Oh, and you have another test. Don't stress, you might get schizophrenia. Let's check on that evolution project. Still not done. It's okay, you have a month. And you have another mini poster to do. What? Another one? Yep. This one's on photosynthesis. But you don't even have data because your leaf discs wouldn't sync. Oh, by the way, you failed the last one. Two weeks pass. How's that evolution project? At least that's progress. Meanwhile, take another test. Oh no, the project is due on Monday. Hope you kept this weekend free. And watch your spelling. Next time, don't let Mike do the editing. Or the presenting. Better idea, don't let him do anything. Wow, glad that's over. Look at that, we're halfway through the year. How many chapters have we covered? Twelve. Yay! How many chapters are there? Fifty-six. Uh-oh, better pick up the pace. Mrs. Fountain is now using a new teaching technique called, Oh crap, we have thirty chapters and three months before the test. Now sounds like a good time to talk about swordfish. Here, take notes in this packet. It's on... Viruses. Viruses? That's cool! Too bad, we'll go over it in half a period and we're done with the chapter. What? But you need to explain it more, or else we'll fail the test. There's no time left for tests, so you'll just take a... Practice test! No more real tests. That means my grade will go up. No, just kidding, now labs just have a bigger weight. At least you do fun stuff, like making bacteria glow in the dark. Wait, it's not so fun, because you'll fail if they don't glow. Just don't end up in the bathroom with Mr. Mick. Speaking of labs, how's that lab notebook coming? It's okay, you still have time, right? Wrong, says the college board. The exam is coming up. Let's take a... Practice exam. Don't worry, it's only a homework grade. Wow, that wasn't terrible. It was a... 60. Look at how much your standards have been lowered. Great, take another one, but this time it's a quiz. Wow, that also went surprisingly well. I think I'm ready, right? No, one more time. This one's a test grade. Okay, now I'm ready. Joke's on you, says the college board. This year's test is gonna be harder and 90% of the stuff you learned won't be on it. Not even that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, which is the only thing you studied. That's okay though, because the rest of the year is... Fun labs, and movies, and this final project, which is why we're doing this. Just after you hand in your lab notebook. Glad that's done. Fun lab time. You got to see your DNA. Don't get too excited though, it isn't that imp impressive. If you're Matt, you don't even have any. Oh, don't forget the memes. Just don't share them. Because... The college body's watching.